I want to talk about some conundrums dealing with genocidal impulse amongst crypto fascist Pakistani or Indian people, especially of lower class, you know. I had this incident, I've talked about multiple inc incidents that have happened to me on a different video as like a case study of genocidal impulse building and how quickly it can happen amongst pre-modern social groups, uh, basically monkeys, you know, uh, chimpanzees. Um, but there's this, they can twist anything into a passive aggressive behavior. So there's this one thing that happened twice to me today, right? which is it's just funny but it's like it's kind of like agitating so what they do is like i wear this tissot watch right i love this watch um it suits me very well like it's like my uh familiar in a sort of way like my soul's vested in it not really but i really like this watch you know and um it's not super expensive or anything but it's it's a nice watch and i love it a lot it's a high quality watch and I love the design. Anyways, so people see me wearing it and out of that jealous, passive aggressive, crypto feudal, crypto fascist, like needing to assert their superiority, what they'll do is they'll come ask me what time it is, right? <laughs> and then they're going to look at the watch while I'm, I'm looking at it and say the time before I do as a way of proving that they're more intelligent and establishing some sort of a sense of intellectual superiority in their own mind and then they're going to take that as a general statement of how they're smarter they know better i'm stupid and so their intelligence um that that like my sense of like doing some islamic intellectual work or whatever is misguided you know what i'm saying and the fact that they're so involved, like complete perfect strangers in a city that I've been in for less than a month, you know, or a little over a month, are so involved in my life. I think one of the things that also happens is some documents that I printed at the hotel I was staying at were leaked into the public somehow. And so there's a general sense of that, right? Like in a city where I've been less than a month, <laughs> like people are so involved in 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 my business like this is and you know what's funny it's like pre-modern traditional like eastern indian society right it's the omanis are beautiful people they're not like that the bus drivers are always super nice uh, at restaurants people are always they're very balanced they're very nice they're very kind they have good character it's not them you get it's it's like two different worlds it's two different societies right there's crypto feudal eastern intergenerational order masked by some veneer of islam it, it's not like it's not islam right like this this psychology is not islam it's eastern psychology and then and then the pe local people are super sweet they're super nice no matter what like i'm sure they're aware of me too some of them but they're nice you know and so it's like this thing like it's this conundrum when you're dealing with genocidal impulse amongst a social group like what do i do with that do i not tell the next person who asks me what time it is the time or do i hide my watch from them or do i tell them to get lost or am i like somehow a little bit aggressive with them just as they were with me or do I try to play the pass? I can't play the passive aggressive game. I just can't do it. I, I don't have that psychology. I don't have that mentality. I can't beat them at their own game and I don't want to. Right? So what's what's the point? Like what what do I, what do you do with that? But it's clearly genocidal impulse. It's the dehumanization of the other person, making them into some sort of full sort of figure to assert your own superiority, right? And it starts a very, very it starts very very like like not super aggressive but then it becomes aggressive very quickly and it's just funny like in georgia it took three years right it took three years and it's probably georgia tbilisi is probably a smaller city you know but in in here you know but here like because i've been at the airport it's a it's a different type of situation i guess a little bit um but it taking only one month, you know, a little over a month 
and it like I could go to a mall 10 miles away I can go to a bus station 30 miles away I can be at the airport and complete strangers you know what I'm saying it's just ridiculous how like the like information spreads through the social network in like crypto feudal crypto fascist eastern intergenerational order they literally don't have anything better going on this is what they have to talk about the anom the anomaly like the non-conformity like a non-conformer with their sense of order right a non-conformer with their sense of order uh is all they really have to talk about that's all they have going on is to, like people are like oh did, did you hear about whatever i don't even know how the story would be interesting <laughs> i get it I, you could make a movie out of my life but i don't know how this little tidbit of it like the last month could possibly be interesting to people i don't get it how it could possibly be interesting how like the whole city like maybe a couple million people were talking about it and again i want to emphasize that i again want to emphasize the the clear difference right the clear difference between um the clear difference between like the locals and and the like the workers like from india and but i'm just gonna say india from now on because there's no difference you know anyways that's it for now conundrums of how to deal with ge genocidal impulse.